everybody. It's Mr. Baker again, back for vlog number three. And today's vlog, I'm going to show you how to get to Clever and through Clever, how to get to iReady so that you can do your work from home. To start, I am going to log in with a Scholar account. Uh, now to get to Clever, I need to make sure that I'm logged in using my school account. Otherwise, I won't be able to get to what I need to get to. So I'm going to go up to the top of my Google Chrome browser here. Right now, it's signed in as my school uh, account, my teacher account. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click Add, because I need to add my student account. So I'm just going to call this Scholar. And I'm going to pick a little animal. Let's see, today I'll be the cheese. Click Add. And now it's going to take you to the Chrome login page. Since I'm going to use a Chrome account that already exists, I'm going to click Already a Chrome User. And then I'm going to sign in. I got special permission from one of our young friends, Mr. Max Rios. Hi, Max. Uh, we are going to log in as Max so that you can see what it looks like from the Scholar end. So I'm going to log in. He is M Rios7664. At learncharter.net. Now remember, it's very important that you put at learncharter.net after your username so Google knows that you're logging in with your school account. I'm going to click next. And now I'm going to type in the password. I'm not going to say his password out loud because digital citizenship next and it's going to log me in as Max. This box is going to pop up. If this is the first time that you've logged in with this account, you need to make sure that you click link data. This is very, very important. By clicking link data and turning on your sync, yes, that's going to pull in all of your bookmarks. It's going to pull in all of your extensions, which are these little guys up here. So we're just going to wait a second, and we will see very shortly. There it goes. And we're just going to wait a second for Clever to pop up on the top. Remember, Clever is a blue square with a white C, and here it is. So now I'm ready to log in to Clever. So I'm going to click the C, and it's going to open a new tab, and it's going to take me to the Clever login screen. If it asks for my school name, I'm going to type Learn 9, and then I'm going to click Learn 9 Waukegan Campus. That way Clever knows who we are and what school that we're trying to get to. Because Max is a first grader, we are going to log in using his Clever badge. So I'm going to click Clever Badge Login. And you'll notice up at the top, a little window popped up asking me if it's OK to use my camera. I'm going to click Allow so that my computer knows that it's OK. And now you can see me twice here. Hi. I'm going to hold up the Clever Badge to the camera. And then you should see a green check mark. There we go. The green check mark means that it recognized my badge and it's now going to log me into Clever. And you'll see the top thing here is iReady. So I can click here and it's going to take me right into my iReady account. There we go. So I've got my iReady reading. I have my iReady math. So I can get in. I can do my lessons. Uh, I'm going to do my 45 minutes of each, and then when I'm finished, I'm going to click this X log out. so I make sure that I log out of my account. And then I can close the tab, and I'm finished. All right, I'm going to log out of Max, 
and then I'm going to log in a different way. For our older scholars who don't use the Clever Badge, so our fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh graders, they're going to click Login with Clever. This is how they would do it at school. The username is a student ID number, uh, which they should know, hopefully. If not, they can always email their teacher, and they can get that from them. So I'm going to put in Max username, and then I'm going to type the password. Uh, the password for our scholars is based on their birthday. So it's going to be the number of their month slash the day slash the year. So I'm going to show you an example just so you can see. So if it were my birthday, uh, my birthday is February 9th, 1983. Yes, I'm that old. So I would type 2 for February slash 9 for the 9th slash 1983 for the year. Now, I'm logging in as Max again. So this is not Max's birthday. He's quite a bit younger than I am. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to hide this. So I'm not showing his password to everybody. And I'm going to type. There we go. And click Login. And it's going to take me in the same way. So again, I can get to iReady. Uh, you will see underneath their teachers pages. So if any of your teachers have different things set up through Clever, like if I go to Miss Guadarrama's page, I can get to Panorama. And if I go back and I go to Miss Ramirez's page or Miss Castellanos page, I can get to Extra Math. So you have other things that you can do from Clever other than just iReady. We also have a few things at the bottom as well if that's something that you're doing in class. Last thing, as always, I'm going to remember to log out and close my tabs. That's all I have for now. If you have any questions, you can email your teacher or you can email me, gbaker at learncharter.org. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Goodbye.